you just finished my last round of push-ups with me. Finishing up a little morning routine, morning movement here. And recently, I've, I've been, I've had, I usually have a lot of guys who will message me um, in regards to questions in terms of whether it's how to get more energy or lose belly fat, stress less. Um, and by the way, catch my breath real quick. If for some reason you are a busy guy who has, you know, you have heavy workload and through the work commitments and family commitments and everyday life, you kind of unintentionally let yourself go physically, not liking maybe the man staring back in the mirror, got a little belly fat and you're just low and uh, on energy and lethargic, um, then I'm gonna encourage you to go over to acceleratedmethod.com uh, to get that handled for good. But um, uh, one thing that I've been, not only questions I've been getting back, but I sent out like a, a questionnaire uh, to a lot of people in terms of what kind of what kind of content would they really find useful? Um, because I want to make sure that every time I come on here that I'm serving those that that are in need um, to want to get a result. And you know the stuff that I provide, I want it to be useful. So um, one one gentleman had sent something over to me, and one of the questions I said, "What kind of what kind of content would you find most useful?" A lot of it was you know stuff on how to lose belly fat, low energy. But one thing that he said in there that I found um, that I actually get a lot from a lot of my guys that join up in my programs is, "What do you do to like when you start after maybe taking care of yourself?" and you've got to influence everyone else in your family or those you lead to kind of follow your lead and do what you're doing. Because, you know, with a lot of my guys, you know, they've got a lot of responsibilities and a lot of things on their plate. And so when they finally make the decision that, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and look after myself, it can be kind of, um, if, if people in your life are used to your routine, they're used to certain things, you know, they're used to you maybe eating a certain way, they're used to you maybe not leaving to go uh, do a workout or wake up early to do uh, an at-home workout. You don't got to leave and go anywhere, but it can be very hard to influence them. And a lot of times, this can actually make a lot of guys uh, resistant to do anything because they're like, well, I don't want to leave my wife out or I don't want to leave my significant other out, which is completely understandable. But one of the, one of the ways that I found um, most helpful, um, at least with a lot of my guys, is that if you want others in your life to kind of be influenced by you and maybe start living a healthier lifestyle and follow your lead, here's one thing not to do. One thing not to do, which I think us, I think people in general can tend to be good at this, um, but guys also as well, at least in my experience, is that when you start something, maybe you hadn't been doing something, you start it and you start maybe getting results or you're just excited about it and you just all of a sudden, you come home and you start trying to change everyone, right? You're like, oh, well, oh, why are you eating that shit? Or, oh, well, you should wake up and do it this way. Or you should work out and do it this way, right? And even though it probably is coming from the best place and the best intentions, uh, the reality is the worst advice you can ever give is unsolicited, unasked, um, and unqualified advice. So if you have all three of those, it's just horrible. So let me just get right to it, is one of the ways to really help those around you to just kind of follow you is just by doing it yourself. By doing it yourself, by taking baby steps. First, share with them why you wanna do what you wanna do. Because this is another thing. A lot of times guys will join uh, my program um, and what'll happen is they'll kind of be very uh, silent about it. Some guys will share it with their wives, some guys will they'll share it with everybody, they're not whatever, but some guys will kind of be silent about it because they don't want to let anybody know that, oh, well, you know, I, I wanted support with, you know, taking care of myself physically and whatever, but like there's no reason to be ashamed of it. And the reality is it's usually to better those, everyone else in their life. And so one first thing I recommend is share with those in your world, whether that's at work or in your family life, why you're doing what you're doing and why you want to do it. Like say, hey, you know, I'm tired of waking up feeling like hell every single morning. I'm tired of waking up feeling like hell every single morning. I, you know, I'm tired of going through a long work day, crashing by 2 p.m. and coming home, and I'm not, I'm not able to give you the availability, the time, the tension, and the patience that you deserve. You know, if, if you have a wife, or if you have kids, or whatever, like, share that with them. Because that's, that, that's a little bit more bigger than, yeah, I just wanna go get fit and lose some belly fat, right? 
because now you're actually sharing like this is how it's impacting my world and also like I'm tired of you know I, I had to go buy a new sports coat the other day I'm like I'm wasting money and I'm looking down I can't stand looking at my belly in the mirror I don't like how my clothes fit anymore and I'm, I'm just not I'm not enjoying this at all and so when you share this with them one they'll be on board but number two is the reality is is what you once you start like, don't sit there and chime in and say, I'm doing this, doing this, doing this. Don't, like, be a dictator and try to change everybody else's life because you've decided. That's awesome that you have. But let them follow. Let them watch you. Let them see if you're actually going to follow through. Not saying, hey, I just started something. Because in the back of their mind, they're like, okay, let's see. I've, I've seen this before. I've heard this before. Let them, like, silently prove it to them. You have nothing to prove, but just show it to them. Because... One story that I had with a guy, a gentleman that joined um, a little, like, end of last year, uh, which, by the way, if you are a guy who has kind of let himself go unintentionally, got a little bell, belly fat, and you're lethargic, like I said in the beginning, head over to acceleratedmethod.com, be able to get a handle on all that for good. But one guy that joined, he had said, it's, it's crazy, like, as, as he started in the first couple weeks, you know, his wife was on board, kids were excited and everything, but as the week started to go on, he didn't say anything. He just started waking up in the morning before he had to get the workday done, doing his little morning routine in his house. And the funny thing was, is every time he started to notice when, whether he'd come home after a long day of work, his, uh, his kids, his wife would start being like, hey, what was, what was the workout for today? What was, what, was, you know, what was the routine for today? We want to do it. Or he'd you know, wake up in the morning, he'd see his daughter starting to do it, right? He'd see, see his daughter starting to copy him right near his actions and he was saying man uh after he completed the program he's, he's like man I, I was coaching my kids back in back in the day because he was like um he, ju- he had just turned 50 he said I remember coaching my kids back in the day and I felt like um man like I, I shouldn't even be be out here because he didn't feel like he was the representative of like uh, of what a coach what he thought a coach should emulate in terms of physicality and all this kind of stuff and he's like, man, it's just amazing Once ha- what happened. Is he's like, hey, lead by example. Lead by example. You've probably heard that cliche a million and one times. But sometimes we have to get it hit, o- hit over the head for, us to, for it to register anything. And so I said all that to say this, is that the reality is, is sometimes people in your world may be resistant from you starting something. They may not even want to join you on board to getting healthier or wanting to take care of themselves. That's okay. Let them go at a pace that they're confident with. And then as time goes on, if you continue it, you keep doing it for yourself, right? So it impacts everybody else in your world. Eventually, if they choose to, they will hop on board and you wouldn't have to say anything. And they'll just, they'll see you and be like, man, they'll mirror your actions and lead by example. So that's just one thing. And listen, again, if you are uh, a stressed, stressed out busy, lethargic guy, you've got a lot on your plate, work commitments, family commitments, you've unintentionally let yourself go physically, you got some belly fat that you don't like, your clothes maybe don't fit the way that you like, your energy is just low or you just can't carry it into the end of the day, uh, then I invite you to go over to acceleratedmethod.com. You can get a handle on that um, for good um, or just feel free to drop me a message. And also, if you are any type of that guy whatsoever, uh, by all means, I am like completely open to anything in regards to uh, sharing content. I'm I'm actually about to create a lot of content here. I'm I'm already in the process of it. Uh, But if you want to see anything in terms of, you know, how to, how to have more sustainable energy, how to lose belly fat, how, uh, you know, how to de-stress or just be more patient, more calm, all of the above, anything that you can think about health, fitness, lifestyle, just to make you an overall better man, then, by all means, drop me a message to say, hey, I want to, you know, how do you do this? Or what's the best way to do this? And I'd love to, because I, I guarantee you, if you have that question, so do about a thousand other people as well. And I want to be able to share and serve. So anyways, that was very long winded. And this live, I'm, I'm hoping that it goes through okay, because I'm doing it this way. For some reason, Facebook wouldn't allow me to do landscape mode. But uh, anyways, we'll see how it looks. But I'm Logan with LostFit. Until next time. I'm going to go take a shower. I'm out.